Hey guys, welcome back in Good Mungo IT and in this video you are going to learn basically let me first of all adjust my mic. Okay, so in this video you are going to learn how you can basically make the AI animal in Unreal Engine 5. So for example, that is basically very simple AI animal. They can go as you can see it's looking very nice for my this scene. Okay, as you can see it's looking so perfect. They are go some random location, they behave random as you can see this why? Why are you hitting my car? Just go somewhere else. As you can see, he just stop and he just start stay hitting. So there's everyone do their own behavior. Like someone will be eat, someone will look around, and they do their own behavior. And just see this, this one hitting my vehicle. Hey, what is your problem? Just go anywhere else. Go. Okay. So now let's learn that I can make this simple uh, AI animal in Unreal Engine 5. How? Okay. So first of all, you need a basically animal pack. So I already add uh, two animal pack. So in this one, uh, for this uh, video, I'll be use the African animal pack. Uh, they I already rendered the zebra pack. Okay. So first of all, what I do basically, uh, you need to just, will be go in AI and just go to blueprint class and create actor and let's give it name that AI two because I already have a AI one. So instead of that, we need to basically go to mesh and at here we need to basically set up our zebra. So I always forget that this is Unreal Engine 5. So that's always minimal. But in Unreal Engine 5, they give you feature. Just go to content browser. That is so much easy to navigate. Okay, so now let's go to African Apex Zebra and go to mesh. And here's our skeleton. Oh, that is not a skeleton. That is skeletal mesh. Skeleton, skeletal. Okay. Oh your mouth is so big okay then what you'll do minus 90 and set it to minus 90 okay make sure that you adjust the height okay or it will be gets a problem okay now we have our basically the ai uh who can just uh, let's say and dra just drag and drop him and let's see how it's looking our environment so here's our zebra and yeah it's pretty looking good okay okay first of all uh our ai is now ready so as you can see that now we need to give him some code that he just go some randomly location and do some stuff so for example uh, as you can see I, in this player i just set a maximum speed that is basically verify that how much player should be the uh, speed okay like what is the basically ai speed so let's say this one also that said our uh, character movement set max walk speed um that is the work speed so we need to set up with our animation so for example let's give it to 250 then depends on our animation we'll be change it later okay the second code is basically ai move to so basically this code will be help us to basically set our character or told our character that bro just go somewhere location a random location so, so for creating that random location will be use this code okay this is for that the va uh, value okay so at here we search that ai move to and the pawns is basically the self okay so just add a self and from the direction let's search that random reachable point so random location you can search also so get random reachable uh, points radius and from that the origin is get act or actual location and then set the value so for example that is 999 that's so much big so i also give the same as here and once you do that you don't need to set the target actor so then what i did at here as you can see i said that uh delay that a randomly uh float range that is 12 to 18 that is basically the duration so we'll be doing the same thing at here so basically from this success it's been that just thing at here that if our this thing is successfully reached that point of its fail so it will be after that 12 12 up to 80 milliseconds it will be basically repeat the same thing it's mean it will be pick up in next location okay so this failed and success and from that will be set it random uh for range and will be set the same that uh, 12 to 18 you can set uh as you want so like in my case let's set it for this one let's set it to 20 okay then if it's done so we'll be simply connected with ai double click and pin make a pin basically okay so basically our ai is now ready to go some random location i already saved the navigation mesh so it can be have that data so if you can add from create then volumes and navigation oh, let me show you that this um where that go oh, sorry navigation mesh volumes this one you can drag and drop okay so 
we have our data let's see that our character going some random location yes he's going hey but you don't have animation so let's set up some animation so for that i will be select this thing make sure that we need to make sure that his skull in that is a zebra skeleton let's go on our right mouse animation animation blueprint and right here will be set our zebra skeleton and if you instance and then click on ok and let's set it name that uh ai that ai2 slash anime that is basically animation also you can write that bp so it will be help us to you know, navigate so slash bp okay now we have the our zip bp so from that will be create first of all a new state so that is basically a state machine and now let's see that how i create the last is uh, animation so as you can see that let's go to state machine um, graph so here's the first of a state machine inside of that we need to add a idle then two pins these two pins will be execute the work and not work movement so let's add so first of all that is a idle so let's give it that idle um, ideally idle and from that i'm so much sorry that in my hair that is so much cold so my hand become freeze okay so from that will be add a walk okay so that is for work add the same pin from these ones to idle now we need to create a variable at here that is moving and then double click and open and get our movement and set it here then the same pin at here not the same the other one set it that are not movement just connect it with this thing now just go at here i'm so sorry guys i just forget that my mom uh, just told me to yes i know okay however plus now as you can see that this is basically the not one now come at this is a walk one so let's go to animation assets so we found the all the walk animation so that is will be set this one that walk for work these ones and instead of the idle will be do something more like as you can see in my these ones they behaving random animation but how inside of that idle i create a new state and inside of that state there's a state and there's a random the state basically is simple play animation and the uh, second random that is be, uh, depends on the timeline that are is stay or not uh, that duration it will be play, uh, play a new state at that state is basically the three random animation are set up okay so we'll be doing the same thing at here so in our new instruction will be set up that new state so yeah that is crazy one that we in a, inside of a state we can create a multiple state so then just double click and open now from that will be set that idle and from that will be set a new that uh, random idle okay now as you can see i say it here that the basically the duration okay instead of the duration that is basically that currently time that basically what is the basically the animation and depends on that animation that is 1.5 more than so it will be can play that once so we'll be do the same thing so current time so we'll be go, do the same thing so let's go at here so let's say it here that um cu double and um current time there should be cu double r um let me search also something more that and time the new state machine as you can see there's a new state machine uh it's calling basically the new state there's no problem if you also set it the new state machine or not less if if i just copy from this one so like let me show you like if i just copy it here so that is a basically the reindeer animation will be uh selected okay but i don't want that uh let me just go to first of all in idle uh, that is the state instead of the state let's give it that idle so that is ideally idle let's see there's a eating idle uh breathing i'm not sure what is that what is this one view look around so let's give it this one i think breath and by selecting this thing let's go to new uh this one so let's go to state uh, sorry not this ones um, idle that is basically instead of that we'll set up the idle random so that here let's set it that c u double r uh, e n t current time 
current i'm active the montage montage uh let's get that get c u l r e n t current time oh why it's not coming or it's not showing i'm not sure but it's not showing should be come some of cases it's not come get the current we just basically need the current time of the animation activate it <laughs> what i write it at here that current time that what i want so i am just searching that gate the new double r e n t current time as you can see it's not showing any time why let's first of all compile and save and let's check uh see you the current time hmm why it's not coming there's some logic instead of that rotation i get this ones i don't need this ones i want this like that <laughs> why it's not coming <laughs> i'm not sure how it's come <laughs> why it's not coming here that's i want the breath oh my god asset player that is the current time <laughs> breath and that is if it's bigger than this one so it should be executed our animation okay that is our random animation and now we'll be search here that random uh, sequence by player so that is basically play a random sequence so we can now add some randoms so here's some idols available so let's give it the first one and third there's some more so let's give that look around last one and let's give that it and let's give one that is i'm not sure that what is that but uh, okay it will be work now what you need to do just go to your event graph and now from that just cast to your ai2 that is basically your zebra in our in my case that is my zebra and from that we need that get vectority that vectority and from that we'll be searched at the length that is a basically the vector length and from the vector land if it's uh, more than 0 0.1 it's mean that we are moving or our ai is moving so just simply set up with this thing and set a sequence from for that and so we're going to do this thing so all this setup is not done let's go to our ai and set the mesh and at here let's give the animation ai2 and as you can see it just start working okay now we have that let me check that how the AI is behaving right now so let me drag and up one more AI at here compile and save now let's click on play okay as you can see they are working too much fast okay so for fixing this thing let's say the animation I think 110 speed will be work for this compile as I said that you need to just do some adjustment nothing else just do some adjustment it will be work yes as you can see perfect the perfect timeline guys i get a perfect time as you can see so let's see what they do okay they just eating right now eating still eating why were eating go yeah he's going <laughs> okay so basically the animation is now ready all the setup is done done we have some reindeers we have some zebra and by the same thing we can do 
or we can make multiple ai enemy uh, ai also so i just hope you understand thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in the next video